There you go, now fellas, here we go, we got something from England, Verdon. Now I've had a couple of theirs, I reckon I've done at least one video, maybe a couple. Even sharks need water IPA, you're kidding. I wouldn't be able to swim too well without water, would I? <laughs> Alright, so this is... Um, I thought it was a Belgian company, and I still have a feeling it might have something to do with Belgium, um, parent company or something, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they moved, maybe they didn't, maybe I'm imagining things because it sounds like a Belgian name, anyway, 6.5%, it's a Whopper, 440ml can, and they've got Citra Galaxy on the hot side, on the cold side, the view is Citra and Galaxy. So there you go. Even sharks need water. And look at the colour of that. Ah, do you reckon any of, anyone's told these guys that IPAs need to be filtered? Nah, I didn't know that. Cheers, guys. So you've got a nice aroma, crystal uh, white, really frothy, frothy, creamy, white as white head. Wow, big mouth, big mouthful. Because the lack of uh, filtering, I reckon, what's happened is they've got a huge IBU count on this one. They're going for punch. Mm. Lots of flavour. Actually, quite well balanced, too. Actually, it looks like the ocean after a shark's just eaten someone or something. Thrashed around, it becomes all cloudy, you can't see jack shit. I've seen a few sharks diving, snorkeling, and spearfishing and diving. They're fine if you're not threatening and you're not splashing. We found I found that out. My two mates were splashing heaps, and the shark was chasing them. And me too, because I was with them. I saw the shark and I grabbed them. I said, guys. And they went, oh, okay. Well, as you can see, I've got the Yellow Glen box behind. I just thought it did it matched really well with the can, which has been really stupid. And I didn't expect this beer to be so cloudy. Which is stupid because you can't expect things. You just have to cop them on the chin. Life gives you what it's going to give you. You can expect that and this and that. And it just doesn't come. It's all different. This is a nice little glass here. I think this is, um, I'd say it's German. Reich. Reich or... Kumbach, Edo Herb, Edo Herb, I thought I was going to say Edo Weiss, Edo Herb, there you go, and the rest is a bit hard to read, Reichbrow, Reichbrew, and then, oh yeah, just Kumbach, that's the shield I guess for Kumbach, nice one. And I'm not drinking their beer, so why am I talking about it? I don't even know why. It's one of those days. I caught up with a guy that I talked to on the phone the other day. And he said he was so happy to talk to someone. And I was a little bit shocked, you know. So I went around today to his joint just to do a little job for him, just help him out. Two-person job. You know, and we had a bit of a chat, and he let me know that one of the, well, it's like his best mate from the Mitchum from Friday night for the last 20, 30 years, 
the guy who we talked to two weeks ago is dead. His mate has gone. I went, what? He goes, oh, yeah, he had a heart operation and he was in recovery and he was going to come home the next day and they walked in and he was dead. Didn't get out of recovery. 74, nice guy, really nice guy. Anyway. That's the life it is. You don't know when you're going to go. And the people around you, when you're gone, sometimes it shocks the hell out of them. He was a bit shattered. Oh, it was good to catch up and sort of butt up a little bit. Talk about a few other things and uh, talk about his mate. And then other people came. We talked about his mate with them and they were all shocked. Everyone was shocked. So, oh, it was an interesting day. So, watch out for the sharks. They might drink you up instead of water. Silly name. Cheers, everyone. Cheers from Trev.